Your first official season is completely wrapped. Thoughts on how, you know, the season went for you? I couldn't have scripted it any better. I mean, we excelled. Um, they bought in from day one. And I think when I look back over the course of the, the entire year from start to finish, I mean, it's exactly how we orchestrated it as a staff in getting them to really set a foundation and set some standards and build on that foundation. But I mean, I couldn't have scripted any better. To be able to come in, like you said, build a completely new staff, and then ultimately get slapped with that NCAA sanction. You know, what can you say just about how your team was able to face so much adversity and not let those outside distractions affect what was happening, you know, on the field? I think it just really shows the character of these players and the character of the program and, and the strength. And I mean, they're willing to overcome adversity off the field. I mean, there's so much adversity already on the field and, and conquering your opponent. But when you start adding some of these outside struggles that these players have been through over the last few years and then with the NCAA sanctions, I mean, it just shows you how they can keep things in perspective and focus on what their responsibility is as a student athlete and how to be able to overcome those things and, and minimize the, the noise and make sure that they're continually to focus and represent the program and themselves and, and be able to put the best product that they can on the field. When you look at your season and being picked to finish, you know, last in the SEC and um, weeks and weeks of going unranked after huge wins. How proud are you of the team for for just being able to battle and, and go in and play Missouri softball? We can't control those things. We can't control the rankings. We can't control the seeding. I mean, those things are completely out of our hand. What we can control is what we do on the field and who we are and how hard we work and and the product that we're putting in. And every single day, I mean, some things that we continually tell the players is get better every day. Do as much as you possibly can, set a new standard, hold yourself and hold your teammates to those standards. And, and at the end of the day, I mean, we competed as best as we possibly can. You guys lose some key seniors, but how excited are you for um, the players you have returning? There's so much youth and so much growth that happened this season with those young players. I think when you look at the roster, and again, I couldn't have scripted any perfectly, and, and I had no control over the players that were within this program, but you have key leaders, key seniors, with Maddie Norma starting in the circle. Um, she really mentored our younger players, and the core of your team is in that sophomore class. So for them to be able to get that leadership and that experience and, and that mentoring is really going to build this program and I'm so excited for that sophomore class now to be juniors and, and when they become seniors, I mean, they're going to really see how this past year is going to pay off for them and their careers and, and the whole entire program. For you, just as the head coach, you know, obviously year one is sort of the building blocks of the foundation of, of what sort of program you want to be able to build here at Mizzou. What would you like to be able to focus on next year in, in year two? It's building to where we left off. I almost want this, this off season in the summer to be there that there's a comma and they continue to build and they understand the standards and the work ethic that they're gonna need in order to compete at this level and in order to continue to, to get better. Um, we, can't, we can't expect to win just based on talent and everyone on this team is very, very talented, but we have to outwork our opponents. We have to work in the off season. We have to come back and when they, they report back in August that we pick up exactly where we left off so we can continue to move forward and, and climb that mountain. You talk about the off season and obviously the off season has begun, but really there is no off season in competitive softball. What are you hoping maybe your returning players work on this summer, like you said, to prepare them for when they get back in August? The, the biggest thing is get bigger, faster, stronger. I mean, put the time and the dedication into the weight room and training your body to be able to perform at the level we need to. It is such a grueling season. I mean, from the start in August and you're going continually into the, hopefully the end of May, early June, if, you, if you're continuing to win, and your body goes through something that these players have never, ever experienced. And the great teams and the great players have put their body in a, in a position to be able to perform at the highest level day in and day out. If your body can't handle it, your mind definitely can't handle it. And when you start to start to fatigue and your body starts to break down, mentally start to break down and you give in to that, that fatigue. So I'd love to be able to see them, you know, this summer, get the, bring themselves back. Their body is in the best shape possible. They're 100% healthy because now we can start working on the softball skills and the softball skills become so much easier when their body is in much better shape.
And for you as just the head coach, you know, even though we are on the off season, you still are working on, you know, all the behind the scenes. Just how excited are you for that 2019-20 season next next year? It's going to be fantastic. I mean, the players we have coming in, they're so enthusiastic about Mizzou softball and, and they're really looking forward to leaving their mark. And then I can't say enough about our, our former sophomore class. I mean, centered around Brooke Wilmis and, and Kendall Bailey, who's actually going to be a redshirt sophomore, and, and Hattie Moore, and, and really the core of our, our team working up the middle and the strength that they bring. And then you have Jasmine Rollin is another one that really has laid the foundation, has learned from this year and all the adversity that they went through, what they need to do in order to compete. And I know that they're so enthusiastic and excited to be able to come back and almost do more and expect more from themselves and their teammates in order to make this program exactly where we want it to be. Presented by MU Healthcare, Mid-Missouri's only academic health center, where yes finds a way.